Hey everybody, Eriko here. Hope you guys are doing well. Why? Because you're watching one of these videos. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see me rant aimlessly and randomly about different topics pertaining to East Asian pop culture as well as other current events. I got new glasses. They still feel kind of tight. However, <laughs> I like them. I look like badass teacher that if you're in my class and you're talking, I'll throw a whole book at you. <laughs> I'm joking with you guys. But there's been some violence in the East Asian pop culture world as of late. And I'm shocked. I didn't know it went this far. I didn't know we crossed these borders. I didn't know that it went over this line in the boys love category. But apparently we got some crazy females that are so obsessed over in China that they started having fight club in the concert and outside of the concert so mind you there's this whole boys love category in Japan it's called yaoi and then we have also a sector in South Korea and as well as China. China has a very problematic history with boys love content. For the most part, they will censor, ban, do whatever they can to stop the public and the youth from watching. I remember years ago I was a huge fan of this really good boys love series called Heroin, or it's also known as Addicted. And they did everything in their power, the Chinese government, to block and stop. Because a lot of these series online get millions and millions of views. And most of the views are females. And they love and they support wholeheartedly these boys. These young actors that are coming up that are not well known and they get thrust into the spotlight. And this also causes them to have booming careers where they go on to do many other projects. Booming music careers. Because what normally happens is that they get actors that actually can sing the theme song for the show. So sing the opening theme song, any theme song. So these female fans get engrossed <laughs> in this fantasy of boys love and these two actors and that's what happened here with this series called the untamed this is a 2019 series it's been a few years you would have thought that the whole fandom would have trickled down and died off and the interest would have kind of died down but no they still have concerts for this show and this show was set back in like historical period of china we're talking like you know flowers on top of lakes, on the surfaces of lakes. We're talking about like traditional instruments, traditional clothing, just the whole thing, architecture, history, beautiful, just the beautiful aspects of Chinese culture brought together in this story. I, to be honest with you, never watched the show. I do know a little bit about the comic book and the novel because right now worldwide the novel and the comic book is like huge. Like people follow it. They love it. There are people that are fans that read it online. Now it's being published in English and that whole fandom has just grown. People absolutely love following it. I run across it. I never really had any interest. I tried, like especially the comic book, but I was just like, I don't know. It just doesn't seem like it's for me. I'm not really big on historical period dramas too much. Like it has to be something that really draws me into it to keep me interested. And on top of this, this series has 50 episodes. There's no way in hell I'm gonna sit up and watch 50 episodes of this. And then it has like spinoff movies. Mm-mm. That's not, that's not gonna happen. The, the shows I normally watch, the most I'll do is like 20. <laughs> 20 episodes, maybe. A, a lot of times, like the series I watch, like Boys Love, they're like maybe 10, 5. <laughs> most of the time it's 5 because, you know, the Chinese government will cut that mess all oh, they They cut it, chop, 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 chop. And even with this series, they censored and chopped from what I researched most of the actual love scenes between the two that people thought that it was a bromance. That's how much they actually censored this show to stop 
there from being any type of affection between two men. But somehow people still, someone just drove by on a loud ass motorcycle. Why? <laughs> Damn that motorcycle was loud. It, it's just, for all of this to be going on, there's still a huge fan base and they have these concerts that are held where of course the two actors sing, dance, one was actually in a group and it garners so many female fans. They have banners, they have light sticks, the tickets that are being sold are like just high price. Like people, especially like in the year 2019, they were running. <laughs> to, to get those tickets and they still hold these concerts there was a concert recently that was being held and one of the actors the main actors wasn't even there and these fandoms come in who ship the two actors together shipping is like you know when they see them in real life to be together be in a relationship and they got to outside the venue cursing each other out Inside the venue, fighting each other. One girl got kicked in her stomach. Lord, Lord have mercy. I, I'm gonna send prayers. Cause if somebody kicked me in my stomach, she got kicked in her stomach, and she got up after she got kicked in her stomach, and she said, "Hell no!" Ran, and she was like a wild banshee. She said, <laughs> "I was like, oh Lord, oh, oh, oh no." And like even people on Chinese social media were like, this is scary. Like this is not normal. Why are you all acting like this? I'm <laughs> you see clips of these two actors, and mind you, they've gone on throughout the years and done other things. They're doing like documentaries, other dramas, other movies. They're living their best lives, showing people, you know, like that they've had fruitful careers and that they've use this drama as a stepping stone to catapult themselves into stardom and I don't blame them but to have fans who are so invested even years later that they actually see these two together because nine times out of ten with a lot of these dramas the actors themselves are not actually gay so they're doing a role and they're happy when, you know, people receive the role well and receive the production well and they're grateful. And so, you know, they do the fan service, they do the concerts, they take pictures, they update the social media, they make sure that the fandom is fed, basically. But when it gets to the point that reality and the storyline, the fantasy of the drama gets blurred and mixed into one to the point that you're so invested that you really, really want them to be together. And when somebody goes against that or has a different opinion or, I don't know, maybe some female fans felt like that one actor should have actually had been with them instead and they don't want them to be together or maybe someone said you know well no another actor is better than that one that he starred alongside and they got to fight and I don't know but it's never that serious never ever ever that serious because people will have their opinions and it, it's nothing wrong with being involved in the fandom and having a love for a certain actor or a certain member of a boy band. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. The problem to me is when you start feeling like that that's really your reality and you start projecting that onto somebody. And when you start thinking that, you know, only your opinion is right. And if someone else has a different opinion, well, we're going to have to fight. <laughs> There's even clips of the two actors at some of these events feeling uncomfortable. And I think they feel uncomfortable because it's a lot. You know, like we have all of these females that really, really, really get invested into this whole idea of them being together in real life. And it's like, it's not going to happen. Like, you know, let... The story of them together, that they can be together in the show, but they're not together in real life. 
And we can also touch a little bit on this whole boys love culture in East Asia and how it is mostly for women. Like, I, I do hope that we get more and more, like, actually gay men telling stories of their own experiences or interjecting their experiences into their own stories and that we get more actual, like, gay male creators. Because a lot of times, it is, it is mostly just, like, mostly females who are telling these stories and sometimes the stories can come off as being stereotypical sometimes they can come off as being very just kind of glossy and we got like the flower boy pretty boy aesthetics and it is mostly for females and females love it they flock to it because to them it's like it's just another pastime for them to them it's like it's something else where it's like oh i can get engrossed in this this is another drama for me you know, it's kind of like, oh, it's like a male and female, but it's two males. And, you know, I love it. And, oh, my God. And did you see how cute that scene was? And they're just so adorable together. Like, I get it. I definitely get it. But enjoy what you enjoy without hurting other people. I think that's what it should be. I don't think that you should be hurting anybody or fighting anybody. People are going to have their own opinions as long as you enjoy what you enjoy, that all that should matter. My cat had to have been a fan of one of those two actors of the show. She didn't like what I was saying. But yes, this was ridiculous. Please, you guys, don't fight other fans at concerts. I don't care if it's a K-pop concert. I don't care if it's a boys love concert. I don't care if it's a C-pop, J-pop concert. A regular concert, a convention, don't fight people over their opinions. Let people have their opinions and their opinions should not affect how you feel about whatever you love. Because whatever you love will still be there and it's for you to love and to enjoy. This was unfortunate. This was not necessary. <sighs> don't kick people in their stomachs. Don't do not do that. Because most of the time the person you kick in the stomach is... They're strong with the person, they're gonna fight you back. Follow my social media, mostly my Instagram. Also, a blog, Nate's Asian Pop Culture. The link is always down in the description box below. And remember be real, stay real, live in the real. And I will always be back. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> I will see you in the next video.